All right, so I'm about to show you what I just now got. Um, it is a car, and I did end up selling the Durango. There was a lot of problems wrong with it. Replaced the whole rear end and bought some new tires. And uh, also, no, it's not a Prius. I wish, though. So. I had two of them. But um, just got me a 1997 Land Rover Discovery. Overall, it's in really good shape. Um, it's originally from Florida and it's traveled through four states. There really isn't much rust on it at all, unlike the Durango. It is a little rough. It's not the most perfect car, but it has really low mileage too. Um, the car has been rigged, like uh, wiring and um, just other fuse things like those headlights, um, turn signals. You gotta use different springs and stuff and uh, drill the hole to <laughs> keep that in place. Um, but it's uh, Discovery, the first series. Um, it is an LSE, so I think that's the top of the line ones too. Like, comes with every option and all that. Um, it's the, it has a 4.0 V8 in it, um, which runs really good too. And, uh, automatic transmission, just fine. I thought it was, uh, rear wheel drive, but, um, it's actually all wheel drive, like all the time, four wheel drive. Um, but it does have the option to switch between high and low, and neutral. I said it was from Dade County so I figured there'd be like cocaine or something in the fenders when I got it but no not really um, does have like I said the guy that owned it before me really did a horrible job at wiring it um, like for example the tail lights one wouldn't work when I hit the brake um, that one would and the little light bar up there also the light bar across the bottom right there supposed to synchronize with these and they don't well i thought it was a bulb anyways found out nope it's a wiring he had it somehow tr wired into the trailer lights i don't know why um he spliced a lot of it too so i finally fixed the brake light but now when i have my headlights on um, I hit the brake. The brake light disappears, so I don't know. Um, decent tread on the tires, but I, like I said, I won't really be driving this a whole lot. Like, it's not my primary car. The Prius still is. And I plan to keep both of these for a while, so you probably won't be seeing many more car videos. Um, like I said, the tire, they hold air, all that. Um... This is the one that has the dual sunroofs, and um, neither of them work right now. But you hear the one motor run in the back, but it doesn't open. The front one doesn't do nothing. Um, also, the back one uh, leaks too, so I need to get that fixed. But really, hardly any rust. It's paint still in decent shape someone keyed it though asshole but um i mean there's a little bit of rust but overall the frame's in really good shape compared to the other cars um i guess let's look inside i am kind of dragging around a extension cord Also, he has it so stupidly wired that he somehow spliced into the fuel pump, which he lied and said was new. It wasn't. Um, then they run about 515 bucks at AutoZone. So, yeah. I tried to clean up the interior as much as I could. I need to buy some new stuff for the leather. But there, it did take a lot of dirt off. Also, that's the back. 
and these seats do fold down. There's a front sunroof. Um, little storage things up there, I guess for maps. Has the home link system, um, just your door lights. These are the sunroof controls. And the glove box. Huge manual. It's like a book. See, it's not perfect. There are cracks and stuff. I mean, for an old car like this, it's not in bad shape. I mean, leather's not really that bad either. Um, does have power seats. Heated seats, which are these. Um, and these are the window controls. Dude put an aftermarket radio in it. Pioneer, that's the remote for it. Um... He, he, he has that wired all stupid too. Um, air condition, you can have uh, one side cool, one side hot, and it does actually work. Um, this is your transfer case shifter. Um, and your clock, your hazards, and uh, sunglasses like this, the cubby or something on the top. And it does have that automatic dimming mirror, so that's kind of cool too. Um, let's look at the back window controls which don't work um, and that door doesn't work at all um, like I said the leather in the back's really good shape really um, little nets for something Really roomy in here. You can almost stand up. Well, at least like crouch. You have a lot more headroom than a van does. Um, that's for your cigarettes. Seats, they fold down, like I said. Buttons back here, though. And you just kind of pull forwards. As you see. And then lift up. And that gives you some extra trunk space. And I don't know if that was supposed to be chrome that says Land Rover, but it is kind of ticking off. Also, it went through New Jersey for a year, as you see. Let me pull this stupid cable. Um it does have the front washers. I don't know where they're at, but it does have the button for the inside. So you can, I guess, wash your headlights if you need to. Has the door speaker and it has these little tweeters too. On that, um, then it has the back speakers. Someone really did a job on this when like my whole panel is all screwed up and as you see that's where someone tried to wire something in um, but floor mat that's original back here you could actually put jumper seats too they face each other and then they fold up if you don't need it um, your power mirror just turn it to whichever side you want Um, has a lot of controls too that I have no idea what it was for until I read that manual that book um, that's your defrost your rear defrost I think defrost like front is up here um, fog lights they don't work either 
Um, volume up and down don't work. Um, your that would be your squirter for your rear wiper, and it like wipes it a few times. Don't work. Rear wiper on. Don't work. Um, select or next, I mean, just next track or next uh, preset. Select is, uh, I believe it's to to uh, change your source, like your tape or something. I don't know. Um, but you see these two switches here. This is why I said the dude did a retarded wiring. And if you take off this fuse box cover, you will see what I mean. Um, this you flip on for auxiliary. And that turns everything back on. Like, look, I got my... Uh, well, you know, well, maybe my key. I don't know. Maybe I blew a fuse. I don't know. The dude had different fuses. So I think they kept blowing or something. Or maybe my car has to be on for any of that to work. Um, this also is for the fuel pump. I don't know why the fuel pump is wired the way it is. But you have to turn that on to give it power, which drains my battery overnight. So I have to either uh, use this 14 millimeter <laughs> wrench and um, undo the positive cable or I'll have to wire a battery disconnect switch which will be my next project for this thing um, as you see just turn the key over well it's in steering wheel lock there you go it starts fine like I said really low mileage only has uh, when I got it, it only had about 90,000 or 90, yeah, 90,000. And uh, my bad, like burning up, but it had about 500 miles less than what it does now, which is still really low mileage. Um, idle isn't weird, that was another thing with the Durango. Um, thing sucks down on gas, it gets about 14 miles per gallon. Um, little buttons for your cruise control they're actually on the back so what's weird is you can feel the button on the back so it's almost like you have to press it but it looks like you press four I don't know um, it does run really good though like really smooth you wouldn't think so because it sits up high and all that this is your turn signals and headlights and uh, wipers and stuff like that um, but yeah I have, like have to keep resetting the radio dude said he wired subs so I have my auxiliaries and the ground in the back but and he also threw in a subwoofer but I don't know when I'll put it in maybe today if I got time um, but so far I've had it for about a week now and it's actually been a really good car So yeah, that's about it. Then you get your cup holders here, which don't hold much, and your I use it for change, but it's your cigarette thing. Um, but I'm about to run out of time. I only get 15 minutes. Um, I'll show you under the hood real quick. Let me do that. No, it doesn't have a loud exhaust either, so it's good too. So it is under the hood. I thought it was the alternator that was draining the battery overnight, but it wasn't. Um, it's just to watch the way the dude has it wired. This is the target. But, um, yeah, all my fluids, besides my washer fluids, not at all. I'll buy some today. I think the fan might be going out, or the fan motor is what I've been told. That's what that sound is. But other than that, it really hasn't gave me no issues. And I hope it doesn't, because I plan to actually keep this one. Um, so anyways, 
ya. 